Let's get the show started, shall we? Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 29th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, welcome inside BC Children's Hospital. You know, this place serves one million children living in BC and the Yukon. They treat the severely ill kids, of course, but they also take care of all those smaller things like the bad ear infection that happens at 2.30 in the morning or a broken elbow. Those things can feel like big things to little people, sure. I'm sure. So for the next four hours, all day tomorrow, we will give you an insight into so many heroic stories and how this hospital is such an important place to many families around beautiful British Columbia. Here at Children's Hospital, the highly specialized caregivers help kids 24-7. You can be a part of the caregiving team by making a donation right now. Our next hour is sponsored by National Bank. We'll hear, we'll hear more from them in just a few minutes. Now, let's head over to Barry, who has some guests. All right, now we're going to talk about uh, National Bank of Canada, and we're pleased to mention this is a National Bank Miracle Hour, and they will be helping us with fundraising from right now until 1.30, and this is uh, Matt Arneal with the National Bank. Matt, tell us a bit about uh, what you guys have been up to this uh, year to help Children's Hospital. Uh, National Bank's been involved for about five years, and uh, I've been helping for the last three. Uh, we find a variety of different ways to help, from sponsoring different events, grassroots fundraisers, and uh, involvement in uh, Miracle Weekend. Right, and you guys will be part of this for the next hour. What's, uh, what's that going to uh, entail? I uh, believe we're matching um, any donations in the next hour up to $5,000. So, so that, give early and often. Right, this is a good time to make all of your dollars go even uh, further here at BC Children's. All right, let's flip that check and see what we got. Oh, you need help from everybody. All right, what have you got? Oh, $7,290. Thanks so much. Lynn, over to you. Thanks, Barry. All right, it's time for another miracle match. Let's start the clock. This time it's the folks at National Bank who will be doubling your donation just for the next minute. Mark O'Neill from National Bank's helping out. What brings what brings this about? Uh, National Bank loves to give back to the community and especially supporting kids. All right, you heard him. Support kids. All you need to do is make a donation. We'll double it. Call 310-2224. Double it right now. That's right. Thank you, Aaron. Did you know that there were over 46,000 patient visits to the emergency department alone last year? That is just one reason why we need your support. Right, Grace? Yep. Call now and have your donation doubled. Thanks to National Bank. Call 310-2224 now. Aaron? There's not much time left, Grace. In one minute, miracle match. Come on, BC, we can do this. Every donation you make in the next 16, 15 seconds is doubled by the National Bank. I mean, if you're thinking about making a donation anyway, if you do it now, you get it doubled. Six seconds left, five seconds left. Come on, let's count down. Three, two, two. One. One. Thanks so much to National Bank. Let's throw it over to Barry. All right, start the clock. Every donation till the end of this Miracle Match Minute will be doubled by National Bank. That's right, your donation will double. What a great way to help the hospital. So for example, $100 becomes 200, 200 becomes 400. So call now, this is the best time to call. Catherine. You have about half a minute to get in on the miracle match from National Bank. Your donation will be doubled, but only during this miracle match. Now we're raising money for research and equipment like ventilators that help patients who can't breathe on their own and syringe pumps that deliver precise amounts of medication. So your help is needed right now. All right, so we have about 30 seconds left. And again, this is the time to call. Again, $50 becomes 100, 100 becomes 200. It's your chance to double your donations. We are just seconds away, about 20 seconds to go. We really appreciate the support of National Bank, who's here today, and of course, to you, our viewers. There's not much time left. We have about 12 seconds to go now, so pick up that phone. It's very easy, or go online. 310 BCCH, or 310 2224. I'm gonna count it down now. Three, two, one. Thanks to National Bank, and thanks to all our viewers. 
Have you ever wanted to see how your money could multiply? Well, start the clock, because we're ready for the last miracle match from National Bank. Now, during the next minute only, National Bank is going to double your donation. That's right. If you donate $5, they'll turn it into 10 If you donate 50 National Bank obviously is going to turn that into $100. So please call right now, 310-2224, and double your donation, but only during this next minute. But a great way to make your donation go further. Ted, over to you. No, it's Jeff. Over to Jeff, you. Jeff, Jeff right here. <laughs> right here with all my friends, all my friends here to support this miracle weekend. You've got one minute to help out so many children who need so much help. This hospital is a, an amazing facility, a world-class facility, but they can't do it alone. They need your help. So call right now to be matched. 310-222-4. 310-2224. This, there are just a few seconds left, and just as Jeff said, this is a remarkable facility that is making advances with technology all the time, but they need your help to keep doing it. So if you haven't called in, please call right now. When you double your donation, your gift will go so much further to all the children at BC Children's Hospital. Let's count it down now, everybody. Five, four, oh, it's done. I need to check my math. Thank you to everybody at National Bank. <laughs> BC Children's Hospital helps kids from every corner of this province. That's why BC's major banks and their employees all work together to support the hospital. Almost every community in the province has at least one bank that's fundraising for Children's Hospital. And there's definitely strength in numbers. Together, BC's major banks raise more than $2 million a year for BC Children's Hospital. Thank you to these banks for making a huge difference in the lives of BC's kids, past, present, and future. Thanks, banks. with a big gang from uh, the Banks Division. Todd Laycroft is uh, standing, by, standing by with me here. Todd, talk about teamwork here. There really is a, a large uh, group of people getting behind this initiative for you guys. Yeah, you know, we can be such uh, bitter rivals uh, competing in the marketplace, but it's just, uh, it's amazing how all of the uh, charter banks get together and we collaborate so well in BC to raise money for BC Children's Hospital. And how do you go about raising money? What sort of initiatives do you take on? Well, it's all employee driven at all of the banks. Um, uh, a, a lot of uh, creative of initiatives, uh, things like uh, talent contests get done. Uh, it's uh, it's quite a, uh, a, a grassroots initiative. Talent contests? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, well, Bank of Montreal has a talent contest. Oh, yeah? It's fantastic. All right. Okay, we've got. Uh, well, talk about teamwork here. We got a group of uh, kids in the front who are going to help us turn these cards. You ready? We're going to start off on this side here. Flip them over. Zero. We got a zero. Seven. Got a seven. What do we have here? Another zero. Two, zero, zero, and the last one, two. An unbelievable total. That is teamwork. The Banks Division. Thank you so much, guys. Great job again. We are pleased to introduce you now to our 2016 champion child. I had a chance to chat with Aiden Chin earlier this evening. Five years ago, cancer tore apart Aiden's world and forced him into BC Children's Hospital for weeks at a time. But you know what? Cancer couldn't break the deep bond Aiden had with his brother and his friends. In fact, it did quite the opposite. I don't expect my cancer to come back. It's a new chapter in my life. I guess there is a sense of being a child, being a teen again. So there are times when I do feel free. I don't think I could ever fully go back to what it was like before. Bren was seven years old and I was only 11, so we both were just kids, right? I had no clue. I, I, I heard the cancer word. I was just like, what is that? Okay, maybe I'm gonna see him uh, tomorrow. My eyes kind of started opening up and I was just like, Aiden's not gonna be here for a while. I'm only gonna see him maybe a couple times a week. It just kept on going to my head, like what if he was not gonna make it? What if I wasn't gonna see him at home anymore? There were times when I was feeling really sick and out of it and tired, and there were times when it wasn't always the chemo, it was about how other patients in the hospital were doing. You, you don't know what it's like, because 
I've been through so much pain, but I won't be here for two weeks. They'll be here for six months, you say? And I was sad that there were other patients and there were other children that were younger than me going through cancers that were harder than mine. Basically, from that point on, I was like, why don't I try to get through it and then hopefully come back, help out. That's what I've basically been trying to do since I finished treatment. I got to join this club at the hospital called the Oncology Teen Group Club. It's something that you can't find out of the hospital. As a survivor, I'm still part of the teen group. There's still a lot of support that I can give to them and they can give to me because there's an understanding that uh, treatment isn't over when you're a survivor. There's still um, an emotional side of things. You have friends that are going through it, friends that are, aren't going to make it through it, and that becomes a reality for you. It's not just over. Brooke was a friend of mine that I met in the hospital, and uh, she became basically a, um, a sister to me. Brooke was definitely the closest friend that I had that I lost. The day before she passed away, I did get to see her in the hospital, and I did get to hold her hand, talk to her, and say goodbye, and tell her I loved her one last time. And I don't believe that you can accept something like that. You have to, I guess, learn to cope with it more. Before, I felt like cancer was something that was rare, that one in a ton of kids would be diagnosed, but it's not rare, and there's a lot of kids in oncology, children that are going through what you went through, and pain that is um, unexplainable. I want to be able to give back to those that have helped me in the hospital, that have made it so that I can go out there and be active and just live my life again. It's a really good feeling that I could just go home and do something with my brother now. Without Children's Hospital, my brother wouldn't be here, so I'm eternally grateful for them being there. I'm looking forward to staying connected to the hospital because it's been such a big part. Giving back and uh, pursuing the dreams that I have and being able to do that because of BC Children's Hospital. Miracle weekend coming it's to a fun. close, but what a weekend it's been. It's time to check in for a big total, guys. It is. Let's so it. before we do this, though, I really would like to say thanks to all the volunteers working behind yeah. the scenes who helped us out. Um, yes. You've been amazing. Yes. You've been yes. it, really, it really is a cast of thousands. So do we want to do this right now? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> let's turn the numbers. Okay. Six, zero. Six, eight, eight, one, zero. Open 
someday what happens for you and peace comes to you from above